We're working new details following a Target 12 investigators exclusive. A medical device meant to stop pain that may be causing more pain. Two weeks ago, we introduced you to a Burlville woman who claims a doctor left something in her body after an operation. After that story aired, another patient with a similar problem contacted us. He says he's been suffering for years but can't find a surgeon who will help him. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is live now in Providence with the details. This West Warwick Army veteran tells us he suffers from constant pain. He calls it unrelenting pain after 18 years of being bounced around in a tank. 54-year-old Pat Bowen showed Target 12 x-rays of what he says remains implanted in his back four years after he asked for it to be removed. And it rides over your rib cage. It's like... Just a constant nag. It's a couple of inches of tube that. A recent Target 12 investigation uncovered a similar claim by Pasco's Diane Morrison, who says part of a pain pump was left in her side. That prompted Bowen to email Eyewitness News. He showed us medical documents indicating a pain pump was implanted in 2001 with a revision of spinal cord stimulator in August 2005. Okay. Bowen's documents show his neurosurgeon for the 05 operation was Dr. Gerhard Fries, who was working with the Neurosurgery Foundation in Providence at the time. But Bowen says the device implanted and later adjusted by Dr. Fries never worked properly. You were fed up by what point? Uh, after about the fifth time of having it taken in and out. I told him I wanted to get it out. I was tired of it. I'd rather go back to the oral meds. But Dr. Fries left Rhode Island in 08, prompting the Neurosurgery Foundation to refer Bowen to another doctor, as this document reads, to have pump and spinal cord stimulator removed. Were you clear the day you went in that you wanted everything I out? I wanted everything out. I didn't want anything to do with this stuff left in my body. Frustration hit after what would be the final pain pump operation. Took out the pump and the stimulator, left the leads. Couldn't take them out. Why? Because Dr. Freeze put them in. Bowen and Morrison tell us several surgeons told them they would not remove what another surgeon implanted. Target 12 checked the FDA website and discovered the Medtronic's infusion pump implanted in Bowen was recalled in July of last year. But Bowen tells us no one contacted him to let him know. Yeah, I'm stuck. No comment tonight from Dr. Fries, who now works in Texas. Also no comment from the Neurosurgery Foundation. And we checked with the Department of Health. There are no active complaints against either Dr. Fries or the Neurosurgery Foundation in Providence. We're the Target 12 Investigators live in Providence. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. The Target 12 investigators are always looking for news. If you want to help expose corruption or drop a dime on government waste, call our tip line 228-1763 or you can email us at target12 at wpri.com. We're also working.